It's easy to get frustrated and make mistakes when you're trying to set up multiple monitors on your PC, but if you just follow the steps in this video, you'll be up and running in no time. Before we turn the computer on and get into the settings, the first thing you need to do is make sure all your monitors are properly connected to your graphics card, powered on, and set up on your desk. Modern graphics cards usually have a combination of HDMI and display ports. Check your monitor's connectors and use compatible HDMI or DisplayPort cables to connect them to your graphics card. You need to make sure your cables are pushed all the way in on both ends and that they're not being obstructed by anything like the edges of the case. Once you have everything connected, turn on the PC and boot into the Windows desktop. I'm using Windows 11 here with all the latest updates installed. It's also worth mentioning that it's just good practice to make sure your graphics card drivers are up to date just so you don't run into any weird issues. Now we're going to come over here to the Start menu and type Display Settings and then click here to open that up. Each one of your monitors should show up here as a rectangle with a number on it. If anything's missing, you can try clicking the Detect Other Display button right here, and if you don't see that option, it might just be buried in this little menu here that says Multiple Displays. You just open that drop-down menu and then click Detect Other Display. This forces Windows to do another check for any missing monitors that there might be. And if that still doesn't work, then you need to go back and check all your cable connections, make sure everything's plugged in and powered on. And after you do all that, I recommend restarting and then coming back into the settings to start over. It's really difficult to plug in monitors into your graphics card in the exact order that they're going to be set up or arranged on your desk. So to solve that, Windows lets you click and drag and change the configuration settings right here. Before we start making any changes here, we need to know which monitor is which. So to do that, we click the Identify button. And what that's going to do is display a number on each one of your screens that lets you know which one of these boxes on here represents which monitor. Now all we have to do is click and drag these boxes around to match the setup on our desk. To make sure you have a smooth experience, you want to pay attention to where the monitors are sitting relative to each other. In this configuration, my main display is sitting in the middle of my secondary monitor, which is actually configured vertically. So I'm going to make sure I set it up just like that in these Windows settings. Something like this here. So what that means is when I drag my mouse from the vertical screen to the main screen here, it should be nice and smooth. Whereas if it was like this and I want to drag my mouse down here, it's going to be like hitting a wall and it's not going to drag over to the second screen. Right, So I want to have it just like it's set up on the desk. That way when I come through here, I can move my mouse back and forth seamlessly. Once you're satisfied that you've got your configuration right, click on whichever monitor you want to be your main display, and then click this little box here that says make this my main display. I already have it checked because I have it set up that way already. But what that's going to do is make sure your icons show up in the right place and that when you launch applications or games, they show up on the right monitor. If you plan to use your monitors as one big desktop, then you're going to come over here to the viewing mode and set that to extend these displays. You can also choose duplicate if you want both screens to show the exact same thing at the same time. One just kind of mirrors the other. That can be useful if you're doing a presentation. You can have one screen facing you and one facing other people that you're presenting to and they see exactly the same thing that's on your main monitor. But generally, most people are going to want to set this to extend so that you can just use your main monitor normally and then have your secondary screen or more than one screen if you have more than one as additional workspaces. Fully usable, full resolution, additional workspaces. If you have a laptop and you have an external display connected, you can select show only on two and bypass the laptop and then just see everything on the external screen. Now, if you're going to be setting up a vertical screen like I have here, there's a few more things you have to do. First, come over here and click on the monitor you want to set up vertically and then scroll down and find display orientation. And then you're going to come over here and make sure that's set to portrait. And what that's going to do is change it from the traditional 16 to 9 widescreen layout to a vertical portrait orientation. And depending on which way you rotated your monitor during installation, you might have to click here on portrait flipped just to make sure your taskbar and everything shows up the right way. You can also come over here to the scale settings and set this to your preference. By default, Windows is going to show you a recommended setting and it's super easy to change or you can just leave it how it is if you like how everything looks. And remember, you're only ever changing settings for whatever monitor is selected up here. So if I wanted to change my main display, I have to come up here, click on that, make sure it's highlighted in blue. And then when I come here and I change my scaling settings, you'll see that it's changing this screen here. That's really useful because you can have a different scale setting on each monitor. So if you're using two different monitors with different sizes and resolutions, like maybe you've got a 4K here and a 1440p here, you might very well want different scaling settings to make text and everything look readable and presentable on both screens. 
By default, Windows should set the native resolution automatically for your screens, but just to double check, you can come back to the scale and layout settings, check the display resolution, and it should actually be whatever your monitor's highest resolution is, or whatever its native resolution is. In this case, 4K UHD 3840 by 2160. And I can scroll back up to the top and check my vertical screen, and you can see that resolution is flipped. It's a 4K screen, but it's 2160 by 3840 because of the portrait orientation. Next, we're going to come down here to advanced display and open up this menu. And this is where we're going to make sure we have our refresh rate set properly. If you spent good money on a gaming monitor, for example, and it's got a high refresh rate, you want to make sure you're getting what you pay for. So you're going to come into the advanced display settings and check your refresh rate right here. This is a 240 hertz screen, and you can see that it's set to that by default. But there's all sorts of other options here, and it is possible that Windows could set the wrong option for you. So make sure you come in here and set that so that you're getting the performance that you paid for. And don't forget to go back and select your other screens and set the refresh rate for those individually as well. There's a couple settings here that I recommend turning on just to make your life a little more easier when you're using multiple displays. Over here under the multiple displays menu, we're gonna turn on remember window locations based on monitor connection and minimize windows when a monitor is disconnected. These settings make sure your apps are minimized when a display gets disconnected, then they get restored to their original locations when the display gets reconnected. And if you want to smooth out the mouse movement between one screen and another, you can come here and just turn on ease cursor movement between displays. I like the taskbar to show up on all my displays, so to do that we're going to come over here to personalization, and then select taskbar. And then we're going to go to taskbar behaviors. And then you're going to check the box that says show my taskbar on all displays. As soon as you do that, you should see the Windows taskbar on all your monitors. And you can come over here and play with these settings to change where apps are shown on which taskbar, or you can just set it to all taskbars and have apps shown right across all your taskbars. To set up our desktop background, we're going to go back to the main personalization menu and click on background. The first thing we need to do is decide whether we want to have a solid color, a slideshow, the window spotlight, or our own custom picture. This is just showing a list of recent images that I was playing around with for the purposes of this tutorial, but you can also come down here where it says choose a photo and click browse, and that's going to let you pick something from your PC. You can click on the options to change the background on all your monitors at the same time, or you can right click and then pick a display if you want to show a different background on each monitor. And you can also play around with the fit settings to change the way the image is being displayed. It's kind of like scaling, but just for your desktop background. And that's just about it. By now you should have all your monitors up and running just the way you like it. If this video was helpful, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if it was really helpful, consider hitting the subscribe button for more tutorials just like this. And we'll see you soon.